Hey, what's up guys? John here. You want to create tremendous wealth for yourself over the next one to three years? Well, I believe that this video is going to teach you exactly how to do that in an economy and in a world where the middle class is essentially disappearing like this article from Business Insider. Middle class getting left behind as low earners win higher wages and the rich see their wealth grow. There's so many things happening behind the scenes right now that no one is paying attention to. No one is talking about. However, the problem is that no one is talking about this. And so I'm going to walk you through exactly what's going on, what you should be doing, how you can avoid this massive trap. Very clearly, take a look at this. So, you know, many people, they grow their wealth in real estate or they grow their wealth uh, through investing early and they buy a really great investment. That was normally the, the key to success. That one great deal will segue into another and into another and into another. I remember a deal that I bought when, many years ago I bought this deal. Almost anyone could have bought this deal. And uh, I mean, you could have bought it with three and a half percent down. Basically, $15,000 could have got you into this deal. And I made nearly a million dollars on this deal. Uh, I mean, it's it's interesting because many people say these deals are not going to come around again. And I mean, I bought it for $425. I sold it for $1,370,000. they are going to say, and I also collected rent for years on the property. So, and I had many tax deductions and write-offs. But what's going to happen is we're going to start to see these deals start to pop up again. That's what I believe. I think when we look at just the core data, we have 46% of the U.S. population working for small business and a third of small business missed October's rent. To me, that signals the early signs of massive layoffs to come, right? And who owns a lot of these two to four unit properties? Mom and pop landlords, right? Mom and pop landlords. They own 76% of all of the small one to four unit properties in America. 76%. That's a huge number. And when you have just the core numbers, 56 or 46% of the US population works for a third of small businesses that can't afford rent, and a large block of the housing stock is owned by these very people, it signals that we're gonna to start to see a lot of these deals start to come back up. These deals where you can invest little money if you have great credit, and you're gonna be able to buy some of these deals. Now, when, what they're not telling you and not talking about right now is this $11,500 inflation tax, essentially what everyone's forced to pay right now, which is about a thousand bucks a month, 250 bucks a week. So you look at what $1,000 a month actually would buy you. Car insurance, gas, utility bills, I mean, all in one, it would buy that for a thousand bucks in many cases, right? This is now a mandatory tax that Americans are paying. So take a look at this. This is how the middle class is getting decimated. And this is really the, I think, the core reason how they're getting decimated. So if you have bad credit in America, let's say a 640, you're looking at about an 8.4. It's, it's interesting because this was 8.3 uh, just a couple hours ago. Now it's 8.4, 34%. In fact, I was doing my numbers based on this 8.3. Uh, so you can just use your imagination. It's even worse than this. And this is already horrible. So total interest, $688,000 on a $400,000 loan amount. $400,000 loan amount. And so if you have good credit, it's 6.828%, 6.828%, that's 740 and above. Uh, now it's 6.925, so just a couple hours later, right? And this comes out to $541,000 in total interest paid. Total interest paid, the difference is $147,000. $147,357, right? And so if you were to take that same money, it's $4,900 a year, $4,900 a year, $409 per month, and you were to invest it at a 9% return, and you, you open this account with $100, and you just put that $400 a month in every single month, instead of paying, uh, because of bad credit, paying to the mortgage companies, you literally just invested in this account, it'd be worth $750,000 over the course of 30 years. $730,000 over the course of 30 years. Now at that same time, now we're seeing credit card interest rates topping 30%, 30%, all time highs, $351 billion in overall debt added just last quarter. And now it's the highest that credit cards, interest rates, highest it's been in 30 years. Highest it's been in 30 years. And the same thing is happening with auto loan rates. Bad credit, 14.76% to 21% basically. Good credit, 2.96% to 3.6, so basically 3.7%, right? And so the average auto loan is $27,291. And we just look at the 60 month term based on a 15% interest rate for bad credit you're paying about $11,664, right? If you have good credit, it's 2,340 bucks. The difference between the two is $9,323, right? Comes out to about 155 bucks 
a month over 60 months. That's how much it actually costs. Now, look at credit cards. Credit card right now, at 27%, $10,000, right? $10,000 balance, minimum payment, it would take about eight years and eight months to get out of it. $15,871 in total interest paid, right? So you look at it, $1,983 per year, $165 per month. And this is the difference between, I believe, what's gonna happen with the middle class and the wealthy, right? The middle class right now, if they add up all these debts, all these expenses just by having bad credit, and they're hit with this bad credit because they got hit with that big curveball of the $11,500 annual tax that is now inflation, right? And so they're putting everything on credit cards, they're defaulting on payments. Things are happening to where it's really crushing their credit score. And because of that, lenders looking at them like, hey, you're higher risk, so we're gonna charge you more and more and more. But if you were to take this 983, this savings, and by the way, we look at this, the average income in America, $31,133, right? So if $983 is the actual tax for having bad credit and the annual income is 31,000, it's basically 30% of your overall income, or not you, but the overall income in America, right? 30%. And so you look at this and you say, okay, well, if we were to invest that 983 a month, right, for 30 years at 9%, it's $1.8 million right? $1.8 million is how this whole thing plays out. And so this is what I believe is likely going to happen. When we see these headlines talking about, uh, you know, middle class getting left behind, they're getting left behind because they don't have any other choice, many of them, right? They don't have a choice because the world just keeps getting more and more and more expensive and things just get more and more uh, difficult. And so what people should be doing right now is paying close attention to their credit scores, paying close attention to everything. And the reason for this is because there's ways out of this. I mean, if you have a decent credit score, you're able to potentially do a balance transfer, transfer uh, debt from a high interest credit card to a 0% interest card for six months or 12 months or 24 months and start to get aggressive with that pay down schedule. You're able to start to you know find solutions because I hate to break it, I, I hate to say it, I hate to break it to everybody, but things are only gonna get harder. I've kind of been talking about this on this channel for like the last year, year and a half, talking about, you know what, things are gonna start to get harder. Uh, even in Q3, Q4 of 2021, I was saying this is the top of the market. And now I'm telling you that I think 2023 is gonna be a lot harder than 2022. And 2022 is probably harder than 2021. It was just gonna get much, much harder, right? So if you have intentions of buying real estate to build out a financial, financial foundation for yourself to grow on. The time to buy and invest is gonna be in the next 12 to 24 months. And the time to fix your credit is right now. The time to really get everything in line is now if you want to invest. Because I believe this wealth transfer that we're gonna be walking into, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity to invest. If you need help fixing your credit, you know we would love to help you at cashnow.video or call us at 561-430. 5,900 for a free consultation, completely free consultation. Build out the game plan, build out the framework. If you are thinking, you know, what should I do right now? Maybe I have credit card debt or auto loan debt. A lot of people do, a lot of people do. Uh, a lot of people are uh, put into a tough situation right now. And you know, for, we look at this, uh, the, the data, most couples, most relationships, they don't work out because of financial problems, right? And the same thing happened uh, in 2008 and, and other recessions is families start to get divided over the money, right? Over the financial problems. And so if you are in a relationship, if you are in uh, you know, a situation in which you have responsibilities, this is the moment to really pay close attention, ask yourself, you know, where am I wasting money? Well, you know, who's ripping me off with these high interest rates? Where can I go? What can I do? What's, what strategy, what game plan should I start to implement? Uh, this is, I mean, seriously, this is really what people should be doing right now is paying close attention to it. Because in America, you know, a lot of, we have uh, sometimes like TikTok brain, where it's just like very, very short attention spans. And you're just like, oh, I'm gonna ignore the problem for now and I'll deal with it later. But what people don't realize is that later it's just gonna be harder to deal with it, right? It's just gonna be harder to deal with it. We look at the numbers. That's what it's actually costing the, the middle class by having bad credit. If they own the average American home, $429,000, they have a $400,000 mortgage. That's not including PMI, private mortgage insurance at 3.5%, right? Um, if they have a $400,000 loan, they have traditional credit card debt of 10,000 and they have the average car in America and they have bad credit and they've, they've gotten all these loans based on the bad credit score, they're wasting about a thousand bucks a month. 
right? It cost them about $1.8 million if they were to invest that money. And that's not including if someone were to, let's say, buy, instead of just investing at 9%, someone were to just buy a fourplex, buy a multifamily deal, reduce, do a situation where they live in one unit, they rent out the other units. They're not only reducing their overall monthly expenses, but they're also gonna own a property and receive monthly reoccurring revenue off owning that property, right? This is how people make millions and millions of dollars. And this is why I think there's two different types of uh, people in America. The rich, and the rich basically borrow money at 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, and then they lend it out at 15 or 20% or 10%. And they, you know, either they do it in the form of real estate investing, they do it in the form of uh, business acquisitions, they do it in the form of investments, right? And then the, every, you know, the majority, the majority, they're forced to borrow money at 20% or 30% and they're forced to buy these items that you know have increased in price by 10 or 20 or 30% over the last 24 months, right? So they're borrowing money. They're borrowing money at 20 or 30% to buy items that have increased by 20 or 30%, right? That's a recipe for absolute disaster for the middle class. That's why I believe right now is the best time. If you wanna fix your credit, we would absolutely love to help you. In fact, you know what? I was even planning on this, but if you end up signing up um, on a five-day free trial, you end up onboarding with us, and we work on your credit, we begin working on your credit, you can hop on a free call with me, uh, and we'll go over uh, a financial game plan for you. Like my goal with Cash Down a Video is to help one million people fix their credit, to improve the lives of millions, and to help a lot of people. And uh, I'd love to you know, help you if you have bad credit, you need help. 561-430-5900. See you in the next video.